Yo, what's going on guys? It's Aaron or Sharpness, whatever you know me as. Today we're going to be learning how to uh, create a C uh, SYN DOS attack uh, attack method using Java. Now, if you guys don't know what uh, the SYN uh, flag is, uh, give me a second, I'm going to drink some of my drink. So, if you guys don't know what the SYN flag is, basically, when, you, when you're using TCP, um, and let me actually open this. Give me a second. I just realized I was open. Let me actually show you guys this. So, uh, in SYN, there's, um, not in SYN, in TCP, there's a few things, okay? You have, obviously, your server. So, let's say this is your server. You have the target server, which is this server. Now, when you want to send data to this server, first, you send a SYN, uh, a SYN, a SYN packet, okay? The SYN packet goes to the server. This target has to basically acknowledge it. So it has to say, okay, I see your send packet. I'm going to allow you to send data. So this over here is a SYN. This is a send packet, okay. It goes here. This is the host. This is us. So send packet goes over here. Sing is short for synchronize or synchronization. And it basically it waits for the uh, target to acknowledge it. And then it will send an ACK packet. Now, you may know the ACK packet looks a little bit... It looks like... I always think ACK sounds like stood for attack. I don't know why. It just sounds like ACK, attack, like you feel me. But anyways, this is the ACK flag. Um, the acknowledgement... This is basically acknowledgement. This is what it means, acknowledgement, okay? So the acknowledgement flag means, okay, you can start, okay? And then it sends data, and then it will give a fin... A fin... A fin... Uh, flag or throw a fin packet fin packet stands for finish or close the connection securely there's a few other flags as well but we're not going to get into that right now as we're just learning how to abuse the sin packet okay so what has been invented recently not, not recently but basically um there's an exploit that people have exploited for years and years and years in sin okay in the sin like uh packet so when you send a sin packet to someone how the fuck do i clear this Jesus Christ, hold on. Okay, <laughs> so when you send a SYN packet, okay, what people are doing now is, let me just draw this stuff again, one second. So this is us, this is the target. So what people are doing now is, when you, we're going to send a bunch of SYN packets, okay, over and over again to the target machine, okay, to try and overwhelm it, okay. Now you may be thinking, but what happened then? Now what happens is we're going to spam, 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 spam SYN packets, and while it's trying to respond, we're going to instantly close the SYN packet. Okay, so we're going to we're going to open a connection, which is it was going to send a SYN packet. Then we're going to close this connection, so we don't have time to respond. And we're going to do it so many times that eventually it's just going to be like, okay, fuck this, I'm done. Okay, this is too much. What are you trying to do to me? Die, motherfucker. Okay, it's going to spaz the fuck out. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to hopefully uh, try and get. I have two servers open over here. I have the borrowed server, which is a server where my friend actually lent me. Going to be using this to uh, attack and we're going to be using this to receive the attack now what i'm hoping is the um cpu actually spikes to about 100 maybe 80 to 100 and stays on that level while we run the attack that's kind of the goal for this okay because we want to use up as much resources as we can so we're going to start okay we're going to create a new package i'm going to assume you guys know java if you guys don't just copy me or some shit i don't know <laughs> uh seek intelligence dot actually guess what boys guess what yeah that's right i got my own domain um uh, i got aaron actor.me um i decided to do this because i'm going to i want to go to college soon just to get a little bit of education on paper so it's easy to get jobs and whatnot um and hopefully that helps out so i'm just going to get my own domain just to like have my personal email server and stuff on so we're going to create a new class called sin once you have the class this is fine okay we're going to create main method public static void main string array args okay now we're going to just no let's not do that let's actually create let's store ex eh, no okay <laughs> let's create a new class now this is going to be um cn uh runnable and then we can implement the class the in interface runnable um then we can insert the methods which is at over and run now this is going to if you guys don't know what we're doing here we're basically just making a runnable which we can use in threads 
and we're going to run this class over and over again but this is going to be where the attack is basically spanned out okay so we're going to create a um we're going to be making this into uh a uh instance so you could use multiple instances of this and we're going to make the instances work in a way where you have to um where you have to actually uh specify a host and a port so we're going to go string host int port now the cool thing about this is um you can run multiple hosts at once which is pretty cool um but that's not that cool and the other thing is you actually need to have a um you actually need to have a uh, valid host and port. If the port's not open, the attack won't send because it has to flood that port exactly, okay? So we're going to make it like this. I'll, you guys will see. Um, I also, I'm assuming you guys know how TCP works or the general, the, just how how uh, networking works in general. If you guys don't, um, let me know in the comment section and I'll probably make a video explaining how TCP and UDP work and maybe HTTP if I can be asked, okay? But yeah. <laughs> um, okay maybe even ilc who knows um but i think you guys know what ilc is over okay so we're going to start with the simple stuff okay we're going to make a while loop going infinitely now you can add a timer to this if you guys don't know how to make a timer so that you can make a text loss for a certain amount of seconds let me know i'll make that as well but i can't be lost obviously <laughs> so uh we're going to start off with uh the basics okay we're going to do a try catch statement try catch um let's just do x so let's just handle all exceptions which is we're only going to receive one exception realistically here maybe two depending on the host port etc um okay so let me drink some more of my drink <sighs> okay so we're not going to handle an exception we're just going to leave the exception like that um we're going to create a socket so we're going to go socket socket equals new socket close it up okay that's what we need to do now we're going to do socket dot connect and then we're going to type some cool stuff so we're going to go new inet socket address and then we're going to type in host um port and then we're going to add a thing over here and we're going to add a, now the cool thing about this now not a lot of people know this okay but give me a second not a lot of people know this but when you use socket dot connect you can actually add a timeout now we're going to add a timeout of five seconds no, let's do two seconds okay so if uh within two seconds nothing responds we're going to do it again and do you know what no let's do it uh, let's do 2.5 seconds okay because i don't want to rush it okay and then we're going to go thread dot sleep 20 just so it doesn't you know just destroy our server and then um we're done <laughs> believe it or not that's all it is as you guys can see, we're just we're gonna create a socket, which should send the sim packet. Then we're going to connect, and then we're actually going to wait twenty. Let's wait twenty. Let's wait. Mm, let's wait hundred milliseconds, zero point one seconds, basically, until we then uh, socket dot disconnect. Not close. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My fault. Um. But yeah, that's all we need to do now. <laughs> that's all we need to do. Believe it or not, guys. Um, now we need to go into the main and then we're going to do a few things. We're just going to make a We're going to make a set of threads <coughs> And that's going to be threads equals new hash set and then we're going to create the following we're going to do um, So string x so string x equals Args zero. We're just gonna allow simple input for um, our host port, etc. Um, okay, and then we're going to go for int x. Do you want me also make a int x? No, um, int is f equals integer dot parse int args. Two. Now what we're doing here is we're basically getting input and um, what we're going to do hopefully is have make multiple threads so that we can um, you know just run more of these at once like multi-thread basically if you guys don't know how multi-threading works just to google okay please I just I honestly it's like I don't know I just can't 
I just, uh, please. <laughs> like, I don't want to explain every single thing to you guys, okay? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just not that, like, capable right now, honestly. It's 6 a.m. I haven't slept on my I'm just drinking iron brew and coding, honestly. So, um, okay. Let's get into this. So, we're going to do um, threads dot add and then we're going to create a new sin runnable then we're going to make the host equals x and the port equals k and apparently we've got a fat error oh here it is okay <laughs> okay let me copy that let's go new thread and then there you go <laughs> okay um then we're literally done that that will that will basically add as many threads as we want into here once we've got the threads in here, then we're going to loop over the thread to start them. For in for thread, thread equals no, then thread. So we're going to loop over the threads, and then we're going to go thread dot start. Okay, we're going to start all threads, and then we're done. Um, <laughs> literally, that's all it is. So um, hopefully I didn't just overwhelm you guys. I'm not trying to you know teach you guys how to do every single thing step by step. I'm just trying to show you guys, um, just how to do it, so you guys get an idea. If you just like, I don't know. Please, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna build this shit real quick. Then I'm going to go pull it up in my other money too, because I put it in a different file, not in a different folder, other than just my normal folder that I have it in, not just my user folder, which is really fucking stupid. I have a I have a folder dedicated to Java tutorials now, just so it's very easy for me to keep track. <sighs> okay, it's still building. <sighs> just some of my drink. Let's throw this into there. Okay. Now we see the server. Okay, the server is chilling right now. Server is chilling. Um, we just get the IP for this. I have config. Then we're going to go Java dash Java, and then we're going to call. Damn it, I've got so many. Ah, uh, sin. Ah, uh, exploit dot jar. To do, ah, uh, this should work, hopefully. Excuse me. Oh, oops. <laughs> oops. It's not it's case sensitive. There you go. Okay. Then we can do the host IP. Then we can do the port 22. Then we can do the threads. We're going to do 500 threads just for the memes. And we're going to start, and it should stop every thread now. So let's give it a few seconds. Okay, let's see what's going on now. Guys can see that shit's off now. 100% CPU. Networks not really being interrupted as we're not using, we're not like, you know, trying to interrupt the network. We're just trying to abuse the fucking resources of the server. <laughs> so yeah, as you guys can see. And then this server is not even being touched. It's on 11 CPU right now. And then once we start this up again, as you guys can see, it off. So that is how to send sin attacks. Um, that is how to create a sin uh, attack method. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe, and peace out. <laughs>